Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here to show you how I fussy cut what I call like decorative striped fabric. These fabrics are super cool. It's not a panel, it's by the yard and this one happens to run parallel to the selvage. This is the selvage here. So, you know, if you're looking at it on the bolt, you're going to see that the, you know, the stripes go this way. I have, I don't know, maybe a half a yard of this, and what I like to do is cut them into blocks. It's just fun for me. I get to do a little bit of math, and I thought maybe you'd just like to see what I'm doing. I know I'm kind of like close, but I wanted you to see what I was doing, so I don't know. We'll see. All right, the first thing I do is I take my measuring tape, and I'm going to measure how wide this is. Ooh, it's a little over 18, so I have a half a yard of this. So right away that tells me maybe I can get um, three six-inch blocks. But before I decide, I want to see how tall they need to be. Because I like to try to make squares. Sometimes I have to make rectangles. Okay, I see if I cut in that green line and this green line, that's six inches. So I could get three six-inch squares out of each one of these strips. I think there's one, two, three, I think there's four of them. So now what I like to do is, what am I going to lose if I do that? All right, so it's going to be 6, 12, 18. My number six line, I'm just going to be cutting off this guy, um, a rhino, cutting off his butt a little bit. 6 to 12 just cutting into that tree, 12 to 18, that's all good. What I do now is I go and see, will I be able to get the full thing on every strip or stripe? And yes, sometimes your selvage ends in a weird place, so you have to check that. So I know for all of these, I'm going to cut on the green line and the green line, and then I will fussy cut into uh, six inch squares. Now the other thing I really like is this brown with polka dots. This, when I have a color like this, I don't try to cut on the, like a, a little line because it's so obvious if it's a little bit crooked and I don't like that. So I'm going to be cutting on the brown. So that is, ooh, three inches will be perfect. And that'll work in this direction because I have 18 so I will get th uh, 6, right? 3 times 6 is 18. I will get 6 of those little squares per strip of that shit. <laughs> and again, let's make sure that's the case. Why can't I do this? That one, of course, is good, good. And yeah, this one looks like it's all exactly the same. Awesome. Now, when I do this, I'm going to end up like with this little thing that's just going to go bye-bye. It's really good for crumb quilting. So I'm going to just cut this, and then this will be a penny auction on eBay. There's a link in the description box that will take you right to my eBay store, and you will see this penny auction. What a penny auction is, it starts at a penny, and there's free shipping. It doesn't mean it sells for a penny, but people have fun bidding, and that's what I like. Now, I want to go press this little part right here. Hang on. What I like to do, like, let's pretend I had three yards of this. I like to cut it into manageable sizes. So I would have planned in advance, like, what's a good size cut? An 18 inch or a little over is perfect. So I'm glad that that's what I have here. Let me get this oh, measuring tape off my neck. I get so hot with the measuring tape around my neck. <laughs> Not that kind of hot. Now what I do is I go by the lines that they give me, and I have noticed that, uh, you know, things get out of shape a little bit, and sometimes they're a little wonky, but that's okay. Where's my cutter, my rotary cutter? So I'm just going to be cutting on this green line and this green line, and I'm putting this line on a line on my mat. And I'm trying to make that line be on the other end, you know, also in the same place. So this looks pretty good. Let's go. 
nice little salvage. I will include this in the penny auction. All the scraps will go. So that's nice. All right, so now this six inch line. So I have my first strip cut. I'm going to do that to the rest of them. I'm cutting just the animal ones right now. And I never, ever cut more than one layer at a time because that would just be in insanely dumb to do. <laughs> You'd never get it right. Okay, let's go ahead and cut these into the six inch squares. Now, in this case, I absolutely can layer, and I'm going to layer all four of these together. I just put it on a line. Doesn't matter if they're off by a little bit. And again, sometimes the fabric isn't, um, you know, perfectly centered going that way. This is going to make such cool blocks. One more. Now, the only thing that sucks <laughs> is if you make a mistake cutting, when you cut stacked, um, the mistake is all through your fabric. So we just can't make a mistake. And I have a hard time not making mistakes when I'm recording. So I need 18 inches. I hate this mat because it doesn't have numbers everywhere. I have to I have to turn it. I need my numbers down here. So I'm just going to start down this end and I'm going to cut on my 22 inch line. Now I'm going to cut six inches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. It just happens that it falls in such a good spot. But if you get a partial, that's okay. It really is. It all works. Why do I... I just want to make sure I'm counting here correctly. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10... Okay, so it's 10, 16. I'm good. Here we go. Oh, so adorable already. I just love seeing fabric when it's cut away from itself. I don't know what I'm talking about. Please, please don't pay attention to me. I think I need a new blade. And now this guy just has to be trimmed right here. So we have, did we say 12 of these? I thought we were going to have more. I don't know what I said before. But look, we have four with little lion. Isn't that cute? Four with a cut off bum rhino. So cute. And four with the giraffe eating out of the tree. Love all of that. Okay, let's go on to the other strips. I have one, two, three, four of these also. Like I said, I'm sacrificing this. I will give it to you as a scrap to put in your crumb box. And I am going to just be cutting on the brown. Now, I don't have to look at lines on my mat for this one. I just know I'm going to cut, oh gosh, maybe not even an eighth of an inch in from the green on both sides. Just want just brown showing. I'm sure I had yardage for this once upon a time. I'm actually going to turn that so I can see the green and uh, I know there was a time I had quite a bit of these, you know, fussy cutting stripes, is what I like to call them. And uh, I sold, you know, yardage, like maybe half yards of each or something. And that must have been a scrap that I had left. Okay, there's one. Okay, I'm going to do the three others. And once again, 
I can stack these and we are doing every three inches this time. Here we go. Awesome. So we had, we got six, did we say? And we had four strips, so there's supposed to be 24 of the little brown squares right there. We said 12 of these. And we have four strips like this for your crumb box. And two salvages. I love it so much. Now, it's kind of dark for me to take pictures tonight. So this video is uploaded on October 24, 2020. The auction will be up on October 25, okay? When it's up, I will put the link in the description down below. I don't feel like dealing with lousy, dark images, and it'll give me a chance to set up and, and do a better job. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gives you some ideas. When you are shopping for fabric, always have a, a measuring tape with you, and if you find some of these funky striped fabrics, you know, measure them and see like what kind of squares you could get out of there. It's really fun. But sadly, it's not something I can do on a regular basis like for my exclusive shoppers, which I would love to do. But you can see, it's quite time consuming because you, you know, you have to cut single layer. But I enjoy it. I will do some more for you. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of that. Bye.